First reading from the book of Sirach. It says, and now bless the God of all who's done wondrous things in the earth. He fashioned us in our mother's womb and growth took place according to his will. The first thing we give thanks for in the book of Sirach is the gift of life. That God so carefully creates each and every one of us that we might have life not only on this earth, but an eternal life of joy and happiness with him in heaven. Thanksgiving days have been celebrated throughout the centuries, even in ancient times, in all the continents of the world, the Chinese, um, the Europeans, all people have had some kind of day of thanksgiving, acknowledging gratitude to God. In 1621, the colonists who first come to the United States, to this country, had a Thanksgiving th feast that lasted for three days. And they shared it with the Native American Indians because they were the ones who taught them how to hunt, how to grow crops. And if the Indians had not helped them, they would not have survived. And so they came together to share a meal and give thanks to God and to one another. Later on in 1789, President George Washington declared the fourth Thursday of November every year to be a national day of thanksgiving. It's the only national holiday that we have that's, that's religious in nature, where we come together today in prayer at church, and we come together with our families to give thanks to God for all of his many gifts and blessings. There was a family who, on Thanksgiving Day, sat down to their meal, and it was their custom, maybe it is for some of you, for people to go around the table and everybody just give one or two things that they were grateful for. And one of the little girls came up with, I'm thankful that I'm thankful. <laughs> what, what a profound response. I'm thankful that I'm thankful. She had a grateful heart, and she was thankful for it. And isn't that the most wonderful thing? The Lord has given us this Eucharist, which means thanksgiving. And he's filled you and I with a, with a gratitude that all things come from God. I'm grateful for a family that I grew up in, as I'm sure you are, who taught us to pray and who taught us to be thankful to God, who taught us in so many times, many, many of the funerals I've had here, first thing I hear is, Father, we sent all of our kids to St. Patrick's School. And you see, the faith is so much most important to us that I'm grateful for today, that God has given me the ability to know that I come from him and that all the blessings in life are from him. And so today we're grateful. And we see it so often. This past week I was in an elevator and there was a woman and her young son who was probably about six years old. And everyone got out of the elevator and he waited for me and he said, I should go. And I said, that, I, that's okay. He said, no, be careful. <laughs> and I thought, he's looking at the old man and saying, <laughs> be careful. But I was impressed with that little kid's um, kindness. You know, his parents are teaching him the right thing to do. And so we, we look today and we see that there's so much to be grateful for in our nation and all the many blessings God has given us. And we come here to this altar today just to say to the Lord, thank you so much. We're grateful for our parish church. I look back in gratitude to the people that hauled these stones one by one on a horse and buggy in 1898 to bring all those from the Berea Quarry to build this church. I'm grateful for their commitment and their dedication and their hard work and labor because you and I can sit comfortably in this church today because they started it. And through all the hundreds and thousands of people that have been here in this church that have supported it, and I'm grateful for you, for all of you who support the parish today. What so many people, and I look back to my grandparents and great-grandparents, they worked so hard so that their children and grandchildren could have things better than they did. And you and I need to do the same thing. We need to work hard so that our children and grandchildren in the parish can have things even better than we do. And that's what God wants us to do, to build up our lives. I mean, gratitude to him by using the good things of the earth that he's given us and to say thanks. In the gospel... Today, it's the only place in the gospel where Jesus demanded thanks, where these ten lepers came and he cured them all and only one came back to say thank you. 
And it's a reminder to us that the rest of the time he leaves that gratitude up to us. So today we're here to say, Lord, we do give thanks for all the blessings you've given us. And we ask you to help us to cherish them and to always use them according to your will. Let us stand now and offer our prayers and petitions.